Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a really fun video for you. Jason and I are going to make a farmhouse bench to match our farmhouse table that goes in our backyard for this summer. So I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time here. Let's just get right into it and I'll show you how we're gonna make this bench. Seriously, it's really easy. It'll only cost you about $20 per bench and given that, our benches are 10 feet long. So your, your cost might be even less. So let's just jump right into it and we'll show you how we're gonna make a new bench. All right, so here's our dilemma. Let me show you the two types of benches bench that were bench set up so we are thinking of doing. Okay, so the one idea is to have, what, we have two, two by, by eights. Eight. So they're actually two by seven, but two by eights together, or you do a two by 12, two by 12, which is 11 inches. So the idea is that we would rip the two pieces here in the middle to make them flush like we have the table. But instead of ripping the sides, we're going to keep this nice rounded edge so that our legs aren't up against a really sharp edge. So we ended up getting six two by fours to make sure we had enough wood for the legs. And then we got two by eight by 10 inch boards because we're making a 10 foot bench. If you are only making an eight foot or even a six foot bench, you can get the smaller piece of wood. So what we like to do is we take the boards, match them up, try to get them as, as much alignment as we can. And then we figure out what sides we want to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip the center pieces right in the middle but we're not gonna rip the outside like we did for the table. We're just gonna do the middle and then leave this one rounded so it's not hurting people's legs when they sit on it. Yes. So now we're just gonna rip those two middle pieces, right? Yep. All right, so it doesn't look like it's gonna cut off anything at all, but we're just gonna take off the very edge so that it's not curved on the edge. All right, so the next phase that we need to do is use our Craig jig. Now, if you are new to using a Craig jig, this isn't your tutorial on how to use it, but we'll show you that that's the next step in making this bench. Okay, so here's the pocket hole, and Jason's going to demonstrate the screw. So these two pieces of wood are gonna get screwed together with a pocket hole here on this one, and we're actually gonna do a pocket hole on the other side. So it's screwed so, into the board like so. Yeah. And keep the two pieces together. We're gonna put pocket holes all the way down the length of the board. Let's go to about there. So we have the holes drilled on this board and what we want to do this the adjoining board we want to mark out where our other little holes are going to go or at least roughly so that they will be in between each other and that way we won't accidentally have them coming in on each other we'll have them equally spaced it should make it strong Okay, so the next step is to get them all clamped and screwed together. We have this little hand clamp, right? Uh, yep. That we can cinch them together with, but then we use kind of body weight, get it set to screw them together. All right, so we've got both benches all screwed together. And next up is sanding. I'm gonna go ahead and do the sanding. I don't mind, I'm kind of a mess anyway tonight. And it's cool and breezy, so it's a good time to do we this. We need to count the times you say in your videos that you're a hot mess. I am a hot mess all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I am going to sand this down. I'm going to put my face mask on and my goggles, and we're gonna sand this down for the next couple hours, because that's the reality. A couple hours. <laughs> if I sand this down, will you make dinner? Yeah. It's going to be mac and cheese, folks. It's not going to be like a miraculous dinner. Oh, now that's a challenge. I hear that's a challenge. I'm going to okay. have to. All right, that's a challenge. All right, so building the legs is a little tricky. you got to get your height right. And it also has to be kind of customized because it all gets out of whack when you do it. So anyways, what you do is you first figure out where you want to set it in there. And we came in an inch. And what we're going to do is the Craig jig so that we can screw it in. Then we're going to, once we get both sides screwed in, we will then measure and cut this piece and again, Craig jig it, and then we'll do the upper piece. 
So come down here and I'll show you. Here we have screwed these in and we have taken a screw this way, but because I can't get at this way, get things this way, I'm gonna have to go from the outside. So we'll pre-drill here. So come on over here and I'll show you what I did. And you come down here, you can see where we went in. We tried to go in here, but I don't have the tools to turn the angles. So we came to the outside and screwed it in there. And we're, we're gonna do this, the outside of all of these, so that this becomes the inside of the bench no one sees. Okay, so we're gonna finish putting all of the legs on the table and then it'll be ready to stain and seal, correct? Yep, and then we will do the second bench. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys, the bench is all done. Actually, both of them are all done. I'm gonna work on staining them now. I'm going to use my favorite stain that matches the table and it's the Early American Stain by Minwax. Then I have a little towel and a pair of gloves and a sunny day. Okay, I've got the top part all stained and I'm gonna let that dry for a little while so then I can flip it upside down and get the legs a little bit better. All right, so we have been letting the benches sit for a couple days and get the stain all set and dry. It's actually been quite warm here lately and today is supposed to be 95 degrees. So I'm gonna hurry and work here in the shade and get the seal put on it. We are using the Minwax Spar Urethane for indoor outdoor use. And we're gonna put about three layers of this on to make sure that these benches stay good. So layer one. All right, you guys, it's all done. The other one is drying right behind me. If you wanna see how it looks with the table, you'll make sure to subscribe and come back and we'll have the table and the benches all put together for the summer. 